So my character is named Scarsdale, and I am uh, contracted to run security for this airline. And I am an ex, you know, special forces guy who, um, you know, is called as, as sort of a crisis manager when this plane has gone down and that they can't locate it. So I come in and uh, track the plane and realize when we realize that the plane has in fact, you know, crash landed on an island, I have to send in a crew of my, a team of my a sort of ex-Special Forces soldiers to go in and, and, and try and rescue uh, whoever might be uh, su surviving uh, from this, this plane crash. I was really pleasantly surprised. The script is really entertaining. It's, um, you know, in some sense, it's a, it's a type of film that we're familiar with, which is very satisfying. <laughs> But it's also really smart and full of surprises and kind of has you on the edge of your seat. I mean, I read it in one sitting. I couldn't put it down. After I directed my first film, my uh, understanding of, of what my role was as an actor on a film completely transformed because I realized there were so many parts of the filmmaking process that I didn't uh, understand. At the same time, uh, when I started directing and then after a while producing, my experience as an actor well, was just so incredibly helpful, um, you know, to, to the whole process of storytelling. And I realized that I knew a lot of things that, you know, directors and producers who don't come from an acting background just don't understand. So uh, the, the, the jobs really complement each other. I've always been um, fascinated with, um, you know, extra governmental security operations. Uh, you know, some people call them mercenaries, you know, contract soldiers. Um, I've sort of realized, you know, after the, the wars that we've been through in the Middle East, so many Americans were, were, you know, private contractors. You know, there's some very, very successful companies that no one's ever heard of that do a lot of work for the U.S. government, for the CIA, and you know, are able to operate, and for, for major corporations around the world. So I read a lot about that already. I'd been working on a, a project a few years ago that we were developing that involved that kind of a, a you know, that kind of a, um, uh, an outfit. So when, when um, I was asked to play Scarsdale, I, I felt I'd already done a lot of reading, and I thought, oh, I think I see where this guy, you know, fits. I had an understanding of, of what his job and what his realm of expertise might be. So, uh, you know, I guess I, I probably went back and looked at some of the reference material that I already possessed, but um, it had been an area that I'd already explored, uh, you know, pretty thoroughly. Yeah, the design is hugely important. I mean, that creates the environment that we get to work in. And one of the really fun things about working on film is you have a three-dimensional environment most times. Uh, you know, when you work on stage, there's there's, you know, you know, two dimensions to it, and then there's the audience. So you have to kind of create the fourth wall for yourself, whereas in a movie that exists. You know, this set was very imaginative and felt very realistic. Um, and uh, it was also cool because we could react to something real in terms of the f video footage that we were, um, would otherwise have been imagining of what, you know, were there these video conferencing that were, there's this video conferencing that we're doing with our operatives in the jungle. Um, and uh, it was great because they were projecting those onto a screen for us so we could react in real time, which doesn't always happen. You know, often it's like a green screen and you just have to imagine it uh, in post. But I think they created the set where it all felt very, very real. So that's always a gift. So many movies that we watch now, we, you know, people watch at home, but this is a film that you want to see with other people. It's a big kind of thrilling entertainment and there's lots of surprises and twists and turns and there's just nothing to replace that communal experience of um, the sensory experience of watching it on a big screen and the communal experience of sharing this with, um, you know, X hundred other people. Uh, it's just with a, with a, you know, tub of popcorn in your lap. I was familiar with the genre uh, you know, a, a plane that crashes in the jungle and the heroic captain who all seems lost. And so you feel like you know where it's going, but there was a, there was a sense of authenticity to it 
that made me, um, you know, kept me in the edge of my seat and it kept surprising me. Even though I sort of felt like I knew where it was probably going to go, it was constantly surprising me and done with real um, intelligence. So um, I, I, I'm very, um, I'm excited for audiences to, to have that experience because to me that always makes the best, you know, the best commercial movies or ones that uh, satisfy those appetites of why we want to go see an action movie, but, you know, um, honor our intelligence, you know, where we don't feel talked down to and challenge us and surprise us.